Um, hi, uh, my name is Jordan Ross, and I'm making this video for my newfound friend Pierce. Um, you guys may know him through PNM. Um, I actually came across PNM um, through a mutual friend of, of ours. Um, I saw the page, and I liked what it stood for for um, Trinidad. So. I wanted to bring that to the states. Um, I live in the United States. I live in Florida. You know, I'm 20 years old. I'm a young guy, young generation. You know, but young generation that's willing to stand up for that change. Um, me and Pierce, um, we were on Skype talking yesterday, and we were talking about having a little political talk, um, talking about change and stuff like that and we got to the point where we were speaking about how powerful the government really is and after a little talk you know he asked me to make a video about what I was saying and I, and I agreed and I told him that I would do that so this is what I'm doing right now and I am American but I am speaking on behalf of all government in general spectrums so the misconception nowadays that people have about government is that government is limited to what it can and cannot do in reality and in retrospective the government can do whatever it wants you know if the government decides to take you out of your home and just totally demolish your house they can because they have that power. Um, as far as warfare, as far as conspiracies, um, as far as anything along that nature, don't, do not underestimate what your government, what my government is capable of. There are so many things that go on inside that we can't even imagine. You know, so, so secretive that we can't even imagine what kinds of things that have happened right under our noses. You know, a lot of things are coming to light now, but it's just like an iceberg. You only see 10%. You only can see 10%. What about the rest, the 90? What about the rest of it? You know, so, um, I like to make it a little more personal. I know you told me not to make it pretty general, but I want to make it more a little more personal because like I said, I do live in America. You know, I love my country. I really do. Um, just being um, a black individual here, um, you know, or being a white individual here, or being an Asian individual here, we all have the same opportunities. You know, there are oppositions of racism, but that's anywhere. You know, I don't just limit that to America. That's anywhere you go. You know, racism is still going to exist because of that ignorance. But anyways, um, there was speculation um, about these, about some past events like 9-11 um, here and also with the, the go overseas with the earthquakes happening, um, that happened in Japan. Um, there's a lot of speculation that 9-11 was an inside job, you know, that the government knew about it and that it happened just like they wanted it to happen. To be an American is kind of hard to believe that and to accept that because this is my country. You know, I expect the officials that run this country to run it, you know, and not to hold hands with this quote unquote enemy who they're laying in the same bed with, you know. But that happens, you know, that kind of stuff actually happens. They trade out um, favors to each other, basically. These countries, these, all the different governments in all these different countries essentially trade out favors. They don't, they don't buy each other off with money because money isn't an issue to these officials. They're going to get paid regardless of anything. You know, they trade favors out, just like how the government trades favors out with the media, the media and the banks and things like that. It, it all happens. You know, I could go so in depth about this kind of stuff, but 
I mean, it, there's not enough time in the world because it's been happening for so long that I have to die, be reincarnated, and start all over again countless number of times before I get all the information out. So I just, I just want people to actually realize that this government is a serious thing. It's not just something put in place to keep a country in order. Like they have specific worldly roles. Governments, they correlate with each other. They work with each, with each other. You know, they're essentially business partners with each other. That's, that's what government does. Don't underestimate like what's happening in front of you. There's, a, there's thousands of things happening right in front of you every day that you don't even realize. And to make it even worse, you're, you're pretty much a puppet that is making them happen. You're the catalyst. That's what you're, that's what you're used for. You're the catalyst to make the government run. That's what you're used for. And there's a, a lot of things that happen in the United States. Not just United States, um, the U.S., um, U.K., um, all corporate government places. Anywhere with a corporate government, same things go on. Just different nature. Same exact things go on, just in a different nature. So, like, just next time you really want to put your trust in your government, like, rethink it. And think about everything that's happened in the past with your government. Think about what's happening now with your government. And speaking on the U.S. half, it's not looking too good. The government isn't looking too well right now, um, economics-wise. Um, as a country, as a whole, economics, you know, and, and the government is just not looking too well for the U.S. right now. And there needs to... Now there needs to be a change. There needs to be a worldwide change. There, we have all these older individuals in office. You know, it's it's fine. Older people, you know, they're fine. But the times are not the same as they were back then. You know, we have new technologies that we as a younger generation can utilize, and we utilize every day. Just even doing this right here, you know, we utilize new technologies every way, every day to use to our advantage. You know, and these in this older generation don't doesn't understand that. You know, they they're saying, oh, it's this way, this way, this is the only way, this is the only way, and it's not. When really, if they had any inkling of common sense, they would know that there's always more than one way to do something. Always more than one way. One way might not be better. One way might be way better, but there's always more than one way to do something. And when it comes to government, when it comes to economic development, when it comes to um, anything, innovation, there's always a better way. There's always a way to make it better. So I think that's when our younger generation needs to stand up and let this be known to them that we are aware of what's going on. We aren't, we aren't just little kids that are wet behind the ears, you know, that are just born. You know, we are very aware of what's going on. And to be completely honest, we become more aware way before this older generation became aware. You now we're becoming aware of things 16, 17, 18 years old, even younger than that. Sometimes we're becoming aware of what's going on around us and we want to stand and do something yet we are scrutinized and criticized for doing so when we do it at a younger age and we do it better than this older generation. So I think they need to step down and they need to accept change. A lot of them ask for change and when they get it, they don't accept it. So what's the point? You know, what's the point? So, I mean, in, in closing, I just, I just really want people to realize that your government isn't what you think it is. They don't love you <laughs> as they say they do. They do not. They do not care for you as people. They don't. They don't care for you as pe the people you are. They care for you as an engine to run that corporation. That's what you're used for. That's your only use. 
You know, that's what they care about you for. They make you feel like they care, of course. That's what they're supposed to do. You know, just like your parents. All, your parents always make you feel like you're the smartest kid in the world and you're the best at what you do, but in reality, you're not. There's always something better. Always someone, something better. So I thank you for that. And thank you, Pierce, for this opportunity to um, have this video posted. And I just want everyone to see it, to just really listen to what I'm saying and actually sit down and look at what's happening right now and just analyze it. You know, you don't have to take my word for it. Just see for yourself, you know, but thank you very much.